DatingWomenRadioShow.com excerpt and preview. On this week's show, airing Thursday, April 17th at 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern, Doc will tell you why some beautiful women chase handsome bad boys. And now, your excerpt. Ever wondered what our show sounds like? I mean, beyond these excerpts. We have a special treat for you today. We're giving you the first two segments of last week's show from April 10th so you can really hear what it sounds like. Check it out. It's over 17 minutes of audio for you to listen in on as we always look to coach you to meet and keep Ms. Right. Welcome to the Doc Love Show, understanding women for men only. And now, your hosts, Doc Love and Jeff Stevens. All right, guys, 866 You press 1, that's U.S. toll-free, 858-678-8958 is your international number. We're going to get to the vice president in just a second. No, it's not a political show, but uh, we have something related to women with him. But, Doc, uh, good news, man. Yeah, and what's the good news? You're getting, you're getting married? I'm dying to see you miserable. <laughs> <laughs> no, no such luck oh, on that one. No, no, darn no. It. You, you can't get me miserable, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wait. I got you. Got to have that flexible giver, right, then Doc? You, then you could call the show. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> Cry in my beer. No, I'm just yeah. kidding. Hey, uh, Doc, the uh, audio version of the system ready earlier than anticipated. Uh, week of May 5th is when we're going to have it rolling. Great, fantastic. So you guys that take showers and go to bed with your phones, you're going to love this. Yeah, it's all going to be in MP3s. All the uh, system chapters, it turned out to be 176 chapters. We have some chapters on Internet, social media, and texting, and mobile devices, and just all sorts of good stuff. Fantastic. All right, guys, if you want to get sneak previews of that, go to DocLoveDatingTipsForGuys.com and sign up for the free weekly newsletter. We'll send you some free audio. But uh, Doc first. Uh, we got a lot of callers waiting, but uh, we have to talk about the vice president. And does Joe Biden understand women? And by, by the way, if he were Republican or Libertarian, I'd do the same number on him. But it's it, it just to give you a little background. It amazes me how many men uh, that appear to be brilliant, make tons of money, have great jobs, they're clueless when it comes to women, and yet a, a guy that maybe. Uh, you know, he's a plumber or he, or he dig ditches, which is honest work. And he understands women. It, it, there's no correlation between how successful you are when it comes to business or education or IQ. Uh, you can take the guy, uh, the guy I like that started, uh, uh, the, uh, uh, PayPal. He's on his third wife. He doesn't, I've listened to his comments. What's the name? Elam, E L U M or something? I don't know what it is, but anyway. And then he, he has he has the new car that's out, which is a great car. Uh ninety thousand ninety ninety thousand dollar car. Tesla. Great car. Three hundred miles, you know, yeah, runs e- on Elon Musk. Yeah, yeah, but he doesn't know. Another one, uh before we get to Joe Biden, Kiyosaki, one of the best books I've ever read, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. He said he, his wife wouldn't go out with him for a year. He sent her flowers every week. He called her three or four times a week for a year. Now let's get on to Joe Biden. We'll make our point to you, new guys here. Joe Biden appeared on Rachel Ray, not Monday, but a week ago Monday, and revealed that his happy marriage to Jill Biden almost never came to fruition. Quote, I'll tell you the honest to God truth. I asked Jill to marry me five times, literally five times, the vice president said. He added added that the only reason she finally agreed to marry him him was that, quote, she fell in love with my two little boys. So my little boys got her, not me. Wow. (laughs) If I've got to ask a girl to get married five times, what's her interest level? It's uh, not over 50 percent, that's for sure. Again, he's vice president. This guy put out, you know, he put out PayPal and, and, that, and that beautiful car, the Tesla, Kiyosaki, when it comes to handling money. Everybody should read Rich Dad, Poor Dad. I'm not climbing on these guys to beat them up. But we don't care about Johnny down, works down at the Shell Station. So I pick out these 
these people everybody's aware of. But in the book, it says one in five women that marry you are not in love with you. This verifies it. And I don't care how educated, how smart. But the thing is this. If I were Jill Biden and I, and I, and I was talking to my dad and say, you know, Joe's asked me to get married four times now. I think I'm, if he asked me again, I'm going to marry him. And the father should have said, why are you marrying somebody you're not in love with? Well, you know, it's time to get out of the house and, you know, I really love his little boys. Do you guys want to marry a woman that is not in love with you? Beware, one in five, because I've interviewed thousands of women, and a lot of them said, I said, when did you, when did, how long did it last? Eight years. Well, when it was over? Two, three, four. I knew on the day that I married them that I wasn't in love with them. I've heard that hundreds of times. And I'm going, huh? I said, well, what was it? She says, I didn't like where I was in life. And the guy had money, a nice looking guy. He loved me. And here's the big lie that women buy into. I thought with time I would learn to fall in love with them. No. One shot per girl per lifetime. Yep. And these uh, guys, you, um, especially the new guys, have to learn that it's not about, like Joe Biden, asking five times. No, 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 no. She's got to ask you. You to get married. You're not asking her five times. Yeah. Or, or Kiyosaki. You know, every week sending flowers for 52 weeks. Yeah, they have did, to. Didn't, did anybody else ask her out so she ran off and got married so, so she could tell Kiyosaki, by the way, I'm getting married to somebody else. Yeah, and he wasted all that time, possibly. Today, if you did that, they'd get him for harassment. Yeah. You can't do that. All right. Well, we are moving on to the callers. And, man, full bank, Doc. A lot of, lot of guys with the coaching. That's what it's all about, right? It's about coaching guys to meet and keep Ms. right. Where can you buy a system? Where can you buy a program that helps you out, coaches with women? At the same time, you got a call-in show in case something comes up. Who's every, first? Every single week. We've got Paul from Cleveland. Paul, welcome, man. What's your question? Thanks, guys. Thanks. What's up? A woman I work... Oh, hi. <laughs> a woman I work with turned me down for a third date due to a what she said was a desire not to be dating anybody at work um, because she's a new hire at the office. Why? Why the third time? Well, that is the question, and that's what I'm trying to figure are you, out. Are you are you related to Joe Biden? <laughs> I know. When you were telling that that story, I was I was having some thoughts there. Paul, yeah. Paul, one, sh- one shot per per one shot per girl per lifetime. Right. You ask okay. her. She gives you seven digits. You know, four zero four two six four four, or she gives you a reason why she can't go out with you, except the one that really counts. I have no interest in you. Right. This is the way they all are. They're not to say no to your face. This is the way they are. I don't know why they just don't right. say, you know something, it's very nice of you, but I'm very much in love with my boyfriend, even though she doesn't have one. And right. that's it. But why give you the runaround? If you're going to lie, lie so it doesn't hurt the guy. Right. So go ahead. Did she turn you down? Is that your story? Um, pretty much. I mean, and I think you answered the question I was about to ask, which was, you know, did you think her, her, her line about it being the wrong time and place, but you know, it's basically what she said again, after like two dates where it seemed like she was all interested. Uh, and I just wanted to make sure that what do you, mean two you dates? think this is a, what do you mean two dates? What's that? Wait a minute. You just told me she turned you down three times. Now you're telling me you had two no. dates with her. Yeah. I, I'm sorry. Maybe, maybe it wasn't clear. I, uh, yeah, we had two dates, and then when I called her to arrange the third date, that's when she backed off. So, in other words, she 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 saw you twice, which goes against her excuse for the third date, not taking the third date. Right, like, and not only yeah, did yeah, she but don't, see me say, twice. Say, Go ahead. But, but, the, but, the, but the point is this, though. The point is this: Did you ask her? I want to. You should. You, know, you should have said. I, I'm really, I really appreciate the fact that you put your job on the line for our first two dates. I thought that was, I thought that was really nice of you. See, you guys, you guys don't bust these chicks. They come out with this stuff. You let them slide all the time. 
Right. Yeah, I busted her a little bit, but I didn't use a line as good as that. I, uh, <laughs> I'm after, use that after, one. You, after you memorize my material, you will use it. I guarantee it. Paul, anything else? Right. Uh, no, I think that's all other than to say, once again, thanks for the system because it keeps me laughing. Good. <laughs> Despite Good. anything they do. Good. Thank you. All uh, right, let's keep it going. 866-977-2346. You press 1. That's U.S. toll free. 858-678-8958. Your international number, Sam, from St. Louis. Welcome, Sam. Hey, Doc. I'll get straight to the point. Thank you. Um, so I've been on a date with this girl for um, six dates now, and we're in pharmacy school together, and we are uh, have, like, a dance coming up this Saturday. And I'm going to go with all my friends. She's going to go with her friends. That's a group. Uh, that's a group, like, it's, a group it's a group date. Don't go. But, Unless okay, I'm, when I, I'm with I, her, I, I, I'm on, when I'm with her in public, it's on a date, or I'm not with her in the same room. Yeah, I, I get the I get that rule, but like I feel like cause no, no, you don't I mean, get you don't get that rule. I, I mean, I get it, but it's like. It's like all my friends are going. Everybody I don't care. goes. I don't care. Forget your friends. They'll be okay. there. They'll be there after this girl rejects you. Okay. Okay. I just wanted to see if there's an exception to that, but no. apparently not. No. 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 Okay. No. No. If you got six okay. months in with her, plus plus yeah. plus plus you work with her too, right? Well, I mean, I go to I go to school with her. You go to right. School with her. Now you want to go to the dance with. You want to do everything with this girl except date her. Just date her. Don't no, do anything not. else. No, I, 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 I've gone on six dates with her. Yeah, and, uh. Has she, has she asked you to be the boyfriend? No, it's only, I mean, no, but it's only been six dates. I mean, well, a, lot of, a, lot of, a lot of girls ask on the fifth and sixth date. Man, okay. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna pay some rent here. We'll be right back to you, okay? Okay. But remember, we don't do group dates. All I, don't, right. I don't want her in the same room with 50 other people and I'm over here and She's looking at me, and I'm looking at who she's talking about. Uh Uh-uh. Uncomfortable. We don't like being uncomfortable. So something came up, and I'm not going to the the dance. We'll we'll be right back. All right, we're going to take Sam from St. Louis, and we're going to find out exactly how to avoid this group date and to uh, get out of this situation and take your calls, too. Numbers coming outside the break. Welcome back to the Doc Love Show, understanding women for men only, with your hosts, Doc Love and Jeff Stevens. All right, 866-977-2346. You press 1. That's U.S. toll-free, 858-678-8958 is your international number in the system, which, by the way, you can get at doclove.com. And if you don't have it, you got to get it. And Sam is on from St. Louis. In the system, it says no group dates. Sam has been out with her six times. Got a group date coming up. Doc says, no, don't do it. We, that's where we continue on. Uh, we don't have a Sam. We don't have. Just, just once, just one second. We lost, we lost a guy. Yeah, we lost a guy. That's okay. You know what? Uh, we, we finished on him anyway. Let's go, let's go to, let's go to, uh, can yeah. you go to Tim? Uh, well, actually, we're on J Ray. Oh, okay. We're on Tim right now. Wait oh, Sam's back. Here we go. We finally got him back. <laughs> we lost him. Sorry, yeah, hey. uh, yeah. Sorry, everybody. Hey, you know what? Live radio, Doc. Gotta yeah. love it. All right, Sam, you're back, man. Hello, Sam. Okay, Doc. Uh, yeah. Okay, now what you're gonna do? Now you are you're already gonna go to this thing. I mean, yeah, I'd really like to because all my friends are going. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're, you're, forget your friends. They'll be there. They'll okay. be there. Yeah, yeah. Don't, 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 don't forget that. We're, we're, we got to sell this woman on asking you to be the boyfriend. Right. And this is not gonna, so this is what you gotta do. You gotta go up to her, say hi, and dance with as many other women as possible. (laughs) Okay. Alright. You know why? You know why? It'll increase her interest level. Yeah, but that's the first reason. What's the second reason? Uh, no other, no other guy would do that. Oh, I don't want to dance with other girls because then she'll know that I like her the most. You see my point? (laughs) So, 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 what other, what the other guys are gonna do to separate themselves. But, uh, ne- next time, next time, no group dates until she's your girlfriend, alright? 
Got it. And forget hey, about wanna... forget about your friends. You can see them Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday night. But but this yeah. is the thing. Okay, got it. Go dance. Right. Go dance with other women. Ask her to dance. Okay. Ask yeah. her to dance the first dance. Ask her to dance the last dance. And you're going to have five to seven women in between you're dancing with. And you know, and that won't like put her off, like because we Why? see each she's other. Not, we've been... What's the big What's the big deal? She's well, nasty. I mean, she's she's nasty with other guys. Okay. She's not going to okay, dance. Well, know. you want to wait for her to dance with other guy first to kind of give you approval. <laughs> you're the leader. No, you just... charge in first. Let her wonder where did... she stands. Yeah, she's, I just didn't she... know if it'd be disrespectful or no, not. No, she's not your girlfriend. Okay, I got you. She's your got wife it. or your girlfriend. I say you don't dance right, with right, other right. women. Your girl, you got a girlfriend. She hasn't asked you, okay. so we're going to kind of nudge her a little bit. We're going to kind of push I her a little you. bit. And if sure, she sure. if she loses it, you say, honey, I'm very sorry. I'm just a popular guy. You know, these women like me. I can't help it. <laughs> I like it. Okay, sounds good. Can I ask you one other quick question? Fire away. Um, it's kind of minor, but you say that don't meet the family until after six months. You know, once your boyfriend, girlfriend, after six months, don't meet the family. Um, I live close to my family, uh, and... How, how, like, I, I can guarantee you that the family's gonna wanna meet her once we're boyfriend, girlfriend, once they see it on Facebook. Nah, say, or whatever. Say, say, it's to just say it's too soon. Okay. And you shouldn't be on just... Facebook anyway. No Facebook page. <laughs> okay. Sounds good. That's all I had, Doc. Appreciate it. Okay, man. Incog incognito. You're a spy. Nobody knows about you. You're a double agent. What's this guy pulling? You're a mystery. That's what we want. We don't want an open book. And that's the thing about Facebook, social media, Twitter, all that stuff. It, the more stuff that's out there about you, the more she can find out, the more it disrupts mystery, and that disrupts challenge. And it's misinterpreted. Yep. You're dancing with three girls. It turns out they're your three sisters, and they're all mockouts. Well, I'm not going out with this guy. He's a playboy. They're her, that's his sisters. He's got yeah. three knockout sisters. You got it. Well, who are those three girls? Those are my sister. Oh, Gee, I guess I shouldn't have broken the date after all. You know, I'm telling you something. People interpret things. It's not reality. It's perception. And that's what we're selling here in the beginning stages, perception. Yeah, because the thing is, is that she has got to get to know you slowly. This guy wants it. Well, my buddies are going to be there. You see them every night. You talk to them every night. Come on. What do you mean your buddies are going to be there? we got to lock this girl down. And there's She's, some potential blockers. That, that's why I want him dancing with the other women. He gives her the first dance and the last dance. And then in between, he dances with five other women. Oh, I'd like to see this girl. She's <laughs> Guys don't think like this. Guys don't do this. Guys, widen your horizons. Look at the big picture. All right, we're going to get some uh, bills paid, as Doc always says. And then we're going to be right back with... Yet more phone calls. There's still an open line for you, so jump on it. Give you the numbers again outside the break.